Space Ace, defender of justice, truth, and the planet Earth. Okay, before I start today's launch box and Daphne setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie, that means you'll get notified every time I upload a new setup guide, plus it really helps out my channel too. So Launchbox and Daphne have had this requested over and over again throughout the past year and it's only now I've come to do this. So let's just say for a start there's lots of configurations to do but we're going to get you up and running with Daphne arcade games. So first of all we're going to need Daphne emulator itself. I'll leave the link in the description for this. Now I'm doing this for Windows. We got two versions. We got a signed version of the Daphne emulator and we got a normal version which is pretty much a portable version. I'm going to download the zip of this. I've already downloaded Daphne. It's on my desktop. If I just open this up you should download this into a zip folder. What we need to do then is go to the Launchbox directory. I'm going to right click on the Launchbox shortcut, open file location and I'm going to go into the emulators folder. Now, if you're a regular user of a launch box, you should have RetroArch in there already. What we're actually going to do is just create a new folder in here. So right click, new folder, and just call this Daphne. And we're going to go inside that Daphne folder and the Daphne emulator that we just downloaded, just extract the contents of it inside of that folder. Okay, so once we've extracted that, we're going to add a new folder inside of here to go with everything we just extracted. So right click, new folder, and call this folder games. And once you've done that, we're going to go inside of there, and I'm going to be using the game Space Ace for this setup guide. If I right click, new folder, I'm going to create a new folder here for the game Space Ace. And you need to do this for every game. So create a new folder, Space Ace. Now I've got Space Ace on my desktop, spaceace.zip. And when you download this, it should download in something like this, an ace.daphne folder. We don't want this. We will go inside. And this is your file structure of Daphne games. So we got .dat, .m2v, .ogg, and we got a text document. If we just extract those files into that Space Ace folder we just created, Okay, so let's just clean up the download. So I no longer need these two zip folders because I've already extracted them and put them where they should be. And in that space ace folder, we're just gonna come out. And this time we're gonna open up Daphne. So we can now double left click on daphneloader.exe. Okay, so first thing you're gonna see is a newer version of Daphne Loader is available. So we're gonna press okay on this. Okay, now we can see a list of Daphne games. Obviously, we don't have all these games, but we do have Space Ace. If I left click on that one, I'm going to then go to Configure. And if we just go to Game Options, we can change some settings here for this particular game. So, for example, Lives Per Credit. If I drop this down and put this one onto Unlimited Lives, that means as we're playing a game, it will literally give us Unlimited Lives. If we go over to Video, full screen is currently on disabled I'm going to enable this we also got screen size there I'm going to leave this to the default of 640 by 480 if we then go over to input we can map out controls I'm going to leave everything just here as it is for now so to start a game it's the digit one for me and to insert a coin it's digit five so like I say by all means you can map out your own controls for this. I'm then going to go over to advanced tab and just go down to display command line. It's currently on disabled. I'm going to enable this. Okay so next up I'm going to go back over to the game laser disc tab and from here under laser disc type I'm going to go to configure laser disc. If I left click on this I'm then going to drop down to virtual laser disc player options and select no I will install any missing video audio files manually. If I then just cancel this I'm then going to go down to MPEG 
frame file location if I go to browse I'm then going to find the location from my space ace game like I said a minute ago Daphne games will have four files roughly one of them contains a text document so I'm going to double left click ace.text I then go down to apply and OK. Now if I go to start the game, uh, Daphne will now verify its relevant game support files. So we need to download additional files like it says if needed. So just press OK. And I'm just going to minimize that warning. Don't worry about that. That's fine. And again, we're going to press OK on new update of Daphne. Okay, so the game is ready to begin, press OK. Okay, so we're going to find command line just come up. What I'm going to do first of all is just copy the clipboard and then press OK. Space Ace, defender of justice, truth and the planet Earth. Ace is being attacked by the evil commander Borg. There's Borg's ship. Close me, me. Okay, so I just escaped that game, and as you can see, everything's running just fine now. Next thing we need to do then, in order to set this up with Launchbox and get games self-booting without the need to go into this emulator itself, we need to create something called .bat files. And it's fairly simple to do, so I'm going to just right-click inside that emulator Daphne folder, and if I go to New, I'm going to go to Text Document, and just here we can actually make a .bat file to boot the game up. And what I'm going to do is rename this text document to space. And then if I take away the text, I'm then going to replace this with bat. And then if I press enter, if you change your file name extension, the file might become unusable. So we're going to change this. Just press yes. And there we go. So we've now created a bat file. If I right click on that space dot bat, from here, I'm going to go to edit in notepad. And this is going to open up the notepad. Now what I'm going to do is press Control in V. Just a minute ago, we copied to clipboard. And that gave us all the locations and everything else of this particular game. Right at the start of this, I'm going to just type in Start. And just make sure there's a space in between Start and Daphne. If I then go to File and Save. And then just close out here. Okay, if I then open up Daphne Loader again. And we're going to go back to Space Ace and Configure. And we're going to go over to Advanced, and just a minute ago, I enabled Display Command Line. I'm going to put this back on Disabled. And then going to go down to Apply, and OK. And this time, I'm going to go to File, and we're going to go down to Exit. Okay, so let's actually see if this .bat file was working. So I'm just going to find that, and if I double left click on Space.bat, Space Ace, defender of justice, truth, and the planet Earth. Ace is being attacked by the evil commander Borg. And that's it. So we now got the dot .bat file working. And as you can see, that's launching straight into the game itself. So what we're going to do next then is start importing into Launchbox. So I've got Launchbox already open. This is a fresh install. What we're going to do then is go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. And then we're going to see the file wizard. We're going to go to next. And just here, what we're going to do is add files. I'm going to add this game on its own. So I'm going to locate where the game is. And of course, I put it in my emulator's Daphne folder. Just here, we're going to select the game itself. So we need to find space.bat. Here it is. And if you've got many games, then obviously add them. We're then going to go to next. What platform are you importing games for? I'm going to just drop this down and I'm going to just search for Arcade. If I select Arcade, show default platforms, Next. Choose an emulator. I'm going to bypass this and just go to Next. Next up, we're going to just leave this to use the files in their current location. I don't want to move the game files, so I'm going to just left click on Use the files in their current location. And we're going to search for game information in local meta database. If I then go to next. Now, because I'm an MU Movies user and I'm also a big box user too, I'm going to go to check all. And this is going to download us all the artwork available. I'm then going to go to next. I'm not going to bother configuring MU Movies, but if you are like myself, an MU Movies user, just pop in your user ID and your password just here and just press OK. Then go to next. 
and next and here we go ready to import now if you notice that under title it's not actually the full name so I'm going to just edit this and just make sure this actually says space ace I'm then going to go to finish one game we're imported successfully here we go complete with box art 2 so if I double left click on this game or just left click on it once and go to play Space Ace. Okay, cool. So everything's launching perfectly through LaunchBox now. I'm just going to give you a quick little tour. If you're not a big box user, I highly recommend it for that premium arcade experience. I'm just going to left click on the little LaunchBox icon just there and then go to Big Box. And here we go. Because this is for the setup guide, I've just got the one game added, but this is it. And obviously, I can then boot it from Big Box. And if I go to play. Space Ace, Defender of Justice, Truth, and the. Okay, so that's it for LaunchBox and Daphne's setup guide. So I opened up the video and I did explain there's a lot of configurations to do in this. But as you can see, this is now fully complete in LaunchBox. And we can even boot up in Big Box Premium too if you're using that. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. And just remember, I've got an entire playlist for LaunchBox, including a full setup guide for beginners. I'll leave the link in my description for that. Anyways, until next time, stay retro.